This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus Q in an interesting type setup that I've been working on. What I've been working on is a way to separate the hydrogen and the oxygen. And if you look at this very closely, you'll see why giving you an exact output is pretty hard right now. What's happening here is I've already separated the oxygen and hydrogen before it gets to the output stage. You can see that's all hydrogen coming up there and then those big bubbles, that's all oxygen. It's a good view. The hydrogen is the smaller bubbles and the oxygen are the great big bubbles coming up now. The reason that works is the way I have the plate arrangement, the holes, the position of the holes. There's a good shot. See the hydrogen coming through. And there's your larger bubbles, the oxygen. It's going to be really interesting. Uh, I'll have that set up for the separation on the top. Again, if you want to go to the site hydrogentap.com, I've got some real good pictures of the cell. The price on the cell is very reasonable, and anyone who's already has one of the iron cells, there is a, a very good discount for the new cell. What you're looking at there is the water return system. And the that's a bubble in there as the water is being pushed down. It's a lot of return. There's your amps. The reason it's unsteady is because of the bubble system that's working there. This will give you a good view. This is the hydrogen output. You can see what's happening here is the hydrogen is coming out here. And if you take a real good look over here, you'll see the oxygen bubbles coming out the top. It is an interesting thing. I'm not, I can't guarantee that it's 100% hydrogen coming up the tube or 
100% oxygen coming out the other side, but it's certainly a interesting uh, piece, and hopefully we'll be able to do something with that. Here's the other cell. There's a better view. Again, those big bubbles are the oxygen bubbles. At any rate, this is the overflow tank, and if you do get the focus cue, you're going to be able to do some very interesting experiments with it. I think it'll be well worth the amount you spend on it.